we practice very hard during the week. We look over the other team's uh, schemes and defenses. Um, you really gotta practice your serves and your spikes to get the kills and like the stats up. We practice every day after school. There's time miles. You'll go out on the course and run as fast as you can and then keep repeating. Readers don't have to pay as much attention to the pronunciation of every single word when they read silently. This allows them to concentrate on reading for understanding. As vocabulary, fluency, and motivation increase, so does comprehension. Because every student reads at an individual pace, they have more time to visualize and interpret the words in their own way. As students read, they recall prior knowledge, before, during, and after reading. They also conduct a self-questioning process to clarify understanding. They infer to predict, draw conclusions, make judgments, and form unique interpretations from the text. Silent reading provides the opportunity to learn the meanings of many new words in context. Readers are able to discover word definitions in an interesting way without any direct instruction. They tend to be more open to this method of learning new words than they would be if they were involved in intensive vocabulary lessons. There is a well-established link between reading and writing. When children are engaged in silent reading, they observe a variety of writing styles and sentence structures that influence their own writing. Since they are able to concentrate on the words they're reading, grammar and spelling typically improve. Consistent, independent reading also inspires a creative thought process that transfers to the written word. So, next Wednesday is the first reading day. Um, it'll be the beginning of first period in first period classes with those teachers. Um, students will need something to read. That can be a novel, a magazine, a newspaper, but it cannot be anything electronic. So no Kindles, no iPads, no phones. It has to be paper. First period teachers will be checking to see that you have something to read and if you don't have something to read we will be providing that for you. It will be a magazine so your choices will be limited so I highly recommend bringing in something that you are interested in reading um, and will keep with you throughout the reading periods. So administration already talked about this at your class meetings throughout the week and an all call will also be going home Tuesday night to remind parents and guardians that you will need to bring in your reading material for Wednesday morning. Since it is a school-wide initiative, um, failure to participate is definitely going to end in disciplinary measures. So please make sure that you're bringing reading material, something you're interested in, to keep you occupied and interested and engaged for those 30 minutes. The book I read over the summer is called This Is What Happy Looks Like. It's about a really confident girl that falls in love with a celebrity that moves into her town when filming a movie. It was so good that I read it in six hours, so I would definitely recommend this book. A book I read this summer was Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. It is about a girl who dies and is forced to relive her death each day until she gets it right. And this book was absolutely amazing. I recommend it. I read Ghost at a Watchman, which is the sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And um, it is a story about Jean Louise Finch, who heads back to Maycomb um, after moving to New York City and just sees how it changes. And it's a story about how um, she deals with the change. And I definitely recommend it to anybody who uh, really enjoyed To Kill a Mockingbird. I read Game of Thrones and it was a really good book because you never know what to expect in the realistic way it's written. The main characters can die at any time and you never know what's going to happen. 
I read the book Anne of Green Gables. It's about a orphan girl that gets adopted by an old couple, and it's a really good book because she stays optimistic even though she gets into a lot of trouble. It's really fun to read, and I recommend it. I read this book called Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Um, it's about a 16-year-old named Gemma who lives in Great Britain, and she goes on a vacation with her family, and in the airport, she is stolen by some guy named Ty. Um, it's a really, really weird book. He takes her to the Australian desert, and she kind of gets to know him as her captor, and it's, it, they develop a very weird relationship, and it's just a really different book, so I totally recommend it to anybody who wants to read it. It's really short, so don't freak out about the length or anything. It's a cool book.